Hello, and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel, and that's Walter. We ran through this by accident completely. We did not plan this one. Natchez Trace Parkway is an ancient trail that connected southern portions of Mississippi River to Salt Lakes in today's central Tennessee. This trail has been a scene foot travel over the centuries by the I'm gonna butcher these these are Indian names Choctaw Chickasaw, Chickasaw and other American Indians other names I can't pronounce obviously nor can they walk the trail to experience portions of the journey of these early travelers well that's not gonna happen we're not hikers so we're gonna drive it to have a visitor center we can get our stamp okay this is take two i read the wrong one okay natchez trace parkway the 144 mile parkway follows the route traveled on untold thousands from 1785 to 1820 the period of trace's most extensive use Kantuck boatmen floated the Ohio and Mississippi, Mississippi rivers to markets in Natchez and New Orleans. Visitors can enjoy a scenic drive, hiking, and biking. So this was a bonus. We're going to see if we can get a stamp at the visitor center that's open. Hello, I'm Walter from Wandering Wanda. We're at Bryce's Crossroads Battlefield. Uh, this one acre site commemorates a Civil War battle which had one objective, make it impossible for Confederate General Forrest to interfere with Union General Sherman's railroad supply line. Forrest scored a decisive victory over Union forces right here. So that's what happened. This was the visitor center for the battlefield of Bryce's Crossroads. And the thing that I learned from this particular video, watching, watching their video, was that the colored guards during the Civil War was the black Union soldiers that fought alongside so that fought alongside with the white soldiers. So very interesting. Didn't quite realize colored guards meant that they were the black soldiers that fought during the Union with the Union during the Civil War. Today we're in Tupelo, Mississippi at the Tupelo battlefield. Yeah, exactly. In 1864, Union General Sherman's primary concern was Confederate General Forrest Mounted Infantry Corps cutting off the Union supply lines. So Major General Smith advanced against the Confederates in the Battle of Tupelo. Forrest's troops could not block Sherman's Georgia campaign. So that's what this commemorates, and we are here. And it's a very small, small little park. It's, a, it's in the corner. Just this little corner. United Methodist Church across the street. Car wash. Car wash and Walmart. Walmart's right over there. <laughs> and empty lot. But it's still here. Alright, this was absolutely unexpected. We are driving by Tup Tupelo. Tupelo. Don't even know where we're at. Mississippi and ran into markers that said Elvis Presley birthplace that way. So here we are and there's the house. 
right, right, right there, the White House. So we're just gonna walk around, and then we're gonna go eat. <laughs> Nothing's green, all no. desert. Uh, so this is the actual house. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, okay. Elvis spent a lot of his time in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. he loved Las Vegas. Yep, it's as big as the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> no, and uh, one of our actually, I have two friends who. They're just the biggest Elvis oh, I'm sorry. in the world. So. That's all right. That's all right. So <laughs> the pictures are mostly for them. We are at the <laughs> Alabama State Line. All right. Hello from the Mississippi State Line. Okay, that is an Indian burial mound that dates back to what? When did it date back? 1000 AD. So, 1,000 years ago. That dates back to 1,000 A.D. Bear Creek Mound. And there has been people here since 8,000 B.C. in the area. So, 10,000 years. Uh, Vicksburg National Park. Uh, one of the most decisive battles of the Civil War, the siege and defense of Vicksburg, was waged from March 29th to July 4th, 1863. 47 days of Union siege operations against Confederate forces defending the Gibraltar of the Confederacy finally led to Vicksburg's surrender. And this is where it was. And people I think it's over there. are buried. So we're going to go to the cemetery. Another cemetery. Just about. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this is the Illinois Memorial. That is here in the park with 12,000 12, memorials scattered throughout the park. We're going to climb the steps. Okay, along the wall are all the men that died in the battle here. My God, there's thousands of them. Just discovered something. There's a really nice echo in here. La la la. Okay, let's go. Confederate soldiers. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so the Confederate soldiers are red signs. In 2.2 miles. Okay, we are in downtown historic Vicksburg and going to 10 rooftop and we don't know where it is. Oh, I need a mask on. So it may be that. This is adorable. This street is adorable. It's a brick street and it goes down to several blocks. It has a New Orleans feel to it, except it doesn't smell and it's cleaner. There's no barf smell anywhere. This is nice. No barf, no urine. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, the urine smell too. <laughs> so we think about New Orleans. <laughs> Nolens. The Coca-Cola Museum. It's probably closed. It's closed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Well, I should have a Coke. I mean, that just makes sense. And you want to look around? Uh -huh. You can look through this area. The museum's already closed. Oh, that's okay. Okay, can we just walk down and back? Okay, Are, do yeah, you serve you drinks? Here, don't go beyond the doors. Do you serve drinks? Do you, do you serve drinks? Yeah, she says. Yeah, I have Coke, Diet Coke, Mexico. Oh, they have, of course you have Coke. <laughs> Oh, they have ice cream. Oh, they have ice cream. Actually, ice cream sounds even better. Oh, an ice cream float. Ice cream float sounds even better. Ooh. Chocolate with Coke. You want a Coke float? Yes. Chocolate ice cream for me. What do you want, Ari? I want a vanilla. Vanilla with Coke? Vanilla with Coke. Okay. Where we eat. This is where we're eating tonight. It's a really old historical building. Okay, when they say rooftop, they're not kidding. Here we are at the rooftop. And behind Walter is Louisiana. And I'm on the Missis I'm on the Mississippi side. So that's the Mississippi River. And you see the dashes? Splitting the states. Use your imagination, it's there. See the dashes? It's splitting the states. Yeah. Here we are at Natchez. It's a essentially a national park tour where the entire city was not burned during the Civil War. So a lot of the plantation homes are the original plantation homes, well preserved, but I'm really not interested in doing plantation home tours. <laughs> so we're just gonna have lunch here at Magnolia Grill. It's right next to the Mississippi River and there's Louisiana right over there. So, lunch time. Pork po boy. It's lovely. And Walter got a cheeseburger. And their sweet tea, if you weren't diabetic before, it will make you diabetic. <laughs> This site was made famous when archaeologists discovered a series of five man-made mounds and six semi-elliptical ridges that had been built out of the soil thousands of years earlier. American Indian monuments that had altered the very topography of Poverty Point. The purpose and significance of Indian mounds vary from culture. We are at Poverty Point National Monument which is also a World Heritage Site. Uh, heritage site, World Heritage Sites include Angkor Wat in Cambodia, been there. Machu Picchu in Peru, been there. Everglades National Park in Florida, been there. <laughs> okay. Now, the Poverty Point National Monument, this park commemorates a cultural, a culture that thrived during the first and second millennia BC. The site contains some of the largest prehistoric earthworks in North America, constructed by a highly civilized group who left behind one of the most important archaeological sites 
on the continent. Okay, we're going to explore the mound. Actually, I'd like to climb the mound. But we're going to drive to it. We're not hiking. Okay, there is the mound. It's about 72 feet high. It was built around 1350 BC. And I actually want to climb it. So, that's going to be our exercise for today. It's really windy, but we made it to the top of the mound. According to the way the mound was built, that is due south. And this is due north. However, the, shift, the earth has shifted since then, so it's a little bit off, but still pretty accurate. Park and a World Heritage Site. Didn't even know about it. Okay, now we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. Let's <sighs> climb up here. I'm gonna climb down now. All right, here we are at the Ameristar RV Park. And Vicksburg. So we have 50 amps sewer, water. And it was pretty level. We did put one block down. All the RV sites here are concrete. And again, it's pretty much level. It just has to do a little bit of tweaking. But it's a nice park. They don't offer any amenities. It's a casino RV park. There are no bathrooms right now. And they do have uh, laundry at the office which is way over there the office is over there they have two washers and two dryers the nearest laundry mat is about 38 miles away so that wasn't gonna happen so I ended up doing laundry here it took close to two and a half hours to do all the loads I needed to do and it's a pretty nice park. It has the amenities that I need. I don't need the pool and bathrooms. I have my own as long as I have sewer. So it was a good park. And again, we're at a casino. We are at a casino park, RV park here in Vicksburg. And would I stay here again? The answer would be yes. And they do a good job keeping the RV park clean. And they do have trash cans scattered throughout the park as this gentleman is about to clean up. So they're doing a good job. Again, the people that come and go here have, um, they keep the place tidy. And you can't really expect a lot of the maintenance people who work in these RV parks to actually keep the parks clean, especially this was a cheap, this was an inexpensive park. I think it was about $23 a night. And it's up to the people that come and go how clean they leave the RV site. And a lot of people, they're pigs. Sorry to say, it's just, it's disgusting. That's Walter. Thank you for watching. Bye. So cool. <laughs>